Hey everyone, welcome to a beautiful day in Sydney. So we are in Sydney today, but we are actually at a place called Royal National Park. And uh, we are gonna be checking this place out. I have my friend Fia here with me. Hello. Hello Fia. And uh, we are going to be exploring this together. So this area here is what you can expect in terms of uh, the sign <laughs> and exactly all the information you need to uh, have a safe walk to whatever area you want so supposedly this is a seven hour walk so we'll probably be doing a couple hours here i'm um, showing you guys what it looks like and then also um, seeing what you can expect when you come here on a hike so first things first there's no camping no fires littering is an offense um there are park use fees but i think if you park on the street then you don't really have that but uh let's see what else is important park gates they close at 8.30 p.m. and this is the area of the map that you can find. So we are currently here and we're going to go on this jibbon head trail walk all the way to Shelly Beach. Hopefully we can get there um, and then see how we go with that. Hello. So yeah, let's go over right on this walk. So you can expect a lot of greeneries here in this area. There is a toilet right there in front, but um, we'll be walking straight and then we will see what else they have there so let's go all right guys so i got that incorrect we are actually going to marley beach because that gives you more of a coastal sort of look at the um uh scenery of it and we have just reached this sign here we've walked straight um there are some signs here that tell you where to go so we're going to be heading that way we are going to marley beach right here yeah yeah so that is where we're going to go into there is a wedding cake rock there too um but more importantly i do want to show you guys the um outlook because it's so beautiful it's got really nice uh scenery there it's very blue and uh we're gonna be showing you exactly what you can expect yeah keep going this way all right guys so one thing you should know as well is uh there's some signs here for you so you can't really get lost in terms of the trail um it is a very man-made sort of trail right for you mm. you'd say and um Fia actually raised some really good points just then that you should probably have some grip in your shoes as well while walking here because um uh what's it called the rocks have yeah. like what's it called what they have on them oh like, it's just uh, it's sandy that's all yeah it's quite sandy so it gets really slippery as well so that's like one thing you should be cautious about too while taking this walk but overall it's quite a beginner's course um don't really need much fitness really to be able to do this uh it's pretty much like a walk like this along the coast the whole way and then you just kind of see like really beautiful sceneries as well um this is a little bit burnt though the trees here but this side's green green burnt green burnt so yeah you can see the differentiation between the two but wear shoes that have grips and uh, you'll be fine but we are just about to get to the edge right there where you can see the ocean view we're like so close to it but yeah like i said guys you cannot get um sort of lost in this area because it's got signs for you everywhere there's uh people walking on this road too so yeah it's a beautiful place and uh, yeah lots of um things that you can see but we'll head down this way um just so i can show you how beautiful these views actually are um i personally didn't wear shoes that have grips so <laughs> as much as i'm telling you guys this um i've made the mistake as well <laughs> so here you go amazing to Sydney everyone this is exactly how it looks like it's amazing the natural scenery is beautiful so I was looking at this map before but this is the actual one that shows you where to go we're right here somewhere and we gotta get to Marley Beach here so the good thing here is like it shows you maps every time so you can't really get lost here they even give you like interesting facts as well about whale watching here got like echidnas here as well and yeah just like meters of how long you can go for like we've got three kilometers to go so yeah and if you want a whale watch the official whale season is june to november so if you guys ever want to see whales here that's the best time to come and that's the way to go like i said there's like holes here for you so you can't really get lost so you can also if you don't want to hike right you can also stay here and just uh have a picnic here as well 
um, although it does get a little bit hot it is um, getting really hot right now but it was cloudy before um, you can really just have a picnic and admire the view right here it's just really cool it's another thing you can do here but see how like light blue that water is it's so beautiful that's so beautiful Sometimes like when you're in your own country, you can't really see the beauty in things but since I've been travelling for a year in Asia, coming back to here, it's just uh, absolutely sunny. Um, so that way, we got to go more, um, we got to walk more that way. But yeah, stop and admire the view. It's beautiful guys, amazing. And uh, we need to check out the beach. So, we have just gotten from man-made to another man-made one here. We're still going on this route. Still looks quite similar. Still there's bushland here. And then just up ahead, if you can see, that's where the uh, water is. So still walking down this path. So we have just walked downstairs and you can see this beautiful view right here. There's still some stairs down there. We gotta go back that way. And then we get a better view over there. Halfway point everyone, I think. Are we halfway here? Yeah, I think we're halfway. Fia's the expert here because she's uh, the one who takes this path the most. I've I've been here a couple of times, but not enough to tell you exactly where halfway is. All right, we'll head down that way. All right, guys, I don't think we're even gonna make it to Mali Beach. It's like another how many minutes for you to get to there? Probably an hour plus. An hour and plus, and we are in the heat. It is so hot right now. We've actually taken a break. We found this really cool spot. It's like under a rock, and it's so sunny over there. But otherwise, it's a really nice view. But we're gonna take a break here. We'll probably walk a little bit more and then we're gonna have to call it because we are so, 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 so hot right now. Like, I'm sweating. Oh, it's crazy. Um, but we did get these uh, crackling, pork crackling rolls here from Cami Val. Um, they were around $9 to get and they look amazing. So, this is our lunch and we spent $18 to get these. That's going to be our lunch today. Let's have some of this and look at the amazing view. So this is what you can do here as well. And then this on a shot. Let's eat this. Mm. Mm. The bed's a bit tough. But that's because we got it in the morning, right? We got around 11 o'clock. It's like... Mm. Mm. It's like around one o'clock now, two hours. Mm. Look at how that looks. So it's got some carrots, some coriander, pork belly, mm. some pickled carrots, and I don't know what that one is, like a radish as well. It's got cucumber in there, and you can also add chili in there, and onion too. A must have in the Cabramatta and Carnival region. It's amazing. That's super crispy as well. I haven't had the pork roll yet, but I am going to try it now just to um, reminisce on the old flavors that I missed for one year. Alright. So. Oh. Mmm. It's still crispy after like two hours. Absolutely amazing. So, guys, like I said, you cannot get lost here, there are signs everywhere. But the only thing is, there is a little bit of elevation, but not a lot. Okay, not much, but it's still like, it does get tiring. I think it's more an endurance race than anything else. So, yeah, this is what you can expect. And we're going to finish off this pork crackling roll. All right, guys, so after that meal, we were so stuffed and we decided to actually come back to this area right here. So. Um, I guess like that's what you can expect from this area in Royal National Park and this uh, trail. You can actually go further to Little Mali. It is around a three hour, right for you? Three hour? Plus. Three hour plus hike. So leave some time for that. We unfortunately are huffed and puffed for our first adventure out. We will go there eventually one day. But uh, today we uh, decided to do a short walk. Enjoy the breeze, enjoy the scene. And uh, this is what you can expect here. So everyone, um, the journey itself is uh, very straight. There is a little bit of an incline in that area where the steps were, um, but that's as much cardio and elevation that there is during this track itself. So 
that's all I have for you today. And if you liked this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back for more. See you guys. Bye, everyone.